See why I ask you questions in the first is before moving on to the new thing that we are about to learn. We have to be sure of what we have learned in the previous classes, right? Just being not, uh, just being uh, like in the confusions with the previous classes, it is not good because the effort what we all had put in learning those is also gone. Along with that, you will not remember the things as well. So it's always good to revise first and then move on. That is why I ask you the questions initially. Malik Arjun, how many armas are there? What ma'am? Arma. Arma? Yes. You don't know what is Arma? Oh, Okay. See here, how many armas are there? Like, okay, I have not shared yet. Oh, sorry. Five. Hmm. Okay. So, five armas are there. Prastari arma, Shukla arma, Kshataja arma, Adhimam Saja arma, and Snayu arma. You have to go through all the classifications. Okay, what is dacrocystitis related to? Uh, wait. Puyalasa. Ha, Puyalasa. And other four? To Srava. Yes, Trishal, how many Vata, Pitta, and Kapha, Rakta, and Sannipataja Vyadhis are there? In which one, ma'am? Shukla Gata, which one? Totally. In Netra Roga. According to the doshas, how many are there? How do you classify? Not revised? Uh, uh, dosha wise, I didn't revise. I'm just a minute, ma'am. I have revised. No, you can do it in the next class. If they are not revised, I will ask somebody else. Shri Lakshmi. Ma'am, Vata is a 10. Pitta is a 10. Kapha is a 13. Rakta is a 16. Sannipata is a 25. By year 2. Okay, very good. I hope you also keep revising these things so that you will not... Uh, Forget these things. Okay. Vartna Gata Roga, we started yesterday. So, coming to the Vartna Gata Roga, 21 are there. So, it is difficult to understand at once. So, we are taking it in divided doses for now. And keeping the Anupana as uh, revising the previous class things. Okay. So, Utsangini, Kumbhika, Pothaki, Vartma Sharkara and Arsho Vartma we have discussed already. Utsangini, Kumbhika, Vartma Sharkara and Arsho Vartma are Sanni Padaja Vyadhis as you are seeing the highlighters here. And Pothaki was a Kapaja Vyadhi. And uh, coming to the Sthana, all are Vartma Gata. Third point what we have discussed is whether it is Sadhya, Yapya, Sadhya. So in that how many are Sadhya? Whatever we have given here, like these five Vyadhis, are they Sadhya or Asadhya? All are sadhya, ma'am. All are sadhya, right. So, Utsangini, Kumbhika, Pothaki, Vartma Sharkara uh, were all the Lekhana kind of disorders, right? Through Lekhana, we will be doing the uh, Chikitsa. And Arsho Vartma is a Chedana Vyadi. Okay, it comes under Chedana. And one more question to be asked, right? Okay. Um, How many Chedana, Bhedana, Lekhana, Vyadana and Ashasra Krita Vyadis are there in total? Rashmi? Yes, ma'am. How many are there in total? Chedana, Bhedana, Lekhana, Vedana and Ashasra Krita? Chedila. Hmm? Bhedya, 5. Hmm. Lekhya, 9. Hmm. Vyadana, 15. Hmm. Ashasra Krita, 12. Okay, very good. Then coming to the Vartmagata Roga, how many are they divided as? 
in Vartnagata Roga, how many are Sadhya, Yapya, Asadhya? In Vartnagata Roga, how many are Sadhya? 17 are Sadhya, 1 is Yapya and 3 are Asadhya. Okay. So next this is what mm -hmm. we will be learning today is Arsho Vartma. Sorry, Shushka, Shushka Arsha, Anjana Namika, Bahalam Vartma, Vartmava Bandhaka. Sorry, and Klishta Vartma. These five disorders we will be learning today. So here Shushka Arsha is a Sanni Padaja Vyadhi. As it is marked in yellow, Shushkarsha is a Sanni Padaja Vyadhi. Anjana Namika is a Rakta Javyadhi. Bahalam Vartma and Vartmava Bandhaka both are Sanni Padaja Vyadhi. And Klishta Vartma is a Rakta Javyadhi again. Okay, I'll be repeating it once again from the first. Utsangini Sanni Padaja. Repeat after me while you are muted only. So that you will remember the things. Utsangini Sanni Pataja, Kumbhika Sanni Pataja, Potaki Kapaja, Vartma Sharkara, Arsho Vartma, Shushka Arsha, all are Sanni Pataja. Seventh one, Anjana Namika is Raktaja, Bahalam Vartma and Vartmava Bandhaka, eighth and ninth one are Sanni Pataja, and Klishta Vartma is Raktaja. Okay, then see, I'll, uh, I'll recall a point here. I do remember I have said the five points, the basic data, the uh, basic address that you have to write when any Shalakya Roga is given in your exams or anybody asks you about a Shalakya Roga, whether being it a Nasa Roga, Karana Roga, Netra Roga, Gala Roga, Kantha Roga, doesn't matter. Any Shalakya Roga that, ha that has been asked, you should be writing five basic details of it what kind of a roga it is, whether it is a netra, nasa, karana roga, like that you have to be writing first. Second point is according to the doshas, how they are classified. Third point is the sthana is important. Fourth point you should be writing whether it is uh, sadhya, asadhya, yapya. Fifth point if it is sadhya, how you would be doing it. And the last point is the correlation. I hope you all remember these six basic data questions. So that you will not forget, at least the headings we will not forget. Then after you can write the shloka from different authors and then its explanation, then its ticket sign detail. Okay, so coming back, uh, Shushka Arsha is a Chedana indicated Vyadi. Anjana Namika is a Bhedana indicated Vyadi. Bahalam Vartma, Vartmava Bandhaka and Klishta Vartma. All the three are Lekhana Sadhya Vyadhi. So, until now, what and all we have discussed. In Vartmagata Vyadhi, we understood there are 17 Vyadhis that are Sadhya. In that, we understood 9 are Lekhana Sadhya Vyadhi. Now, whatever we have discussed until now. In that, how many Lekhana Vyadhis we discussed? Seven. Seven. So only two are remaining. Are you getting the point? How you should remember this? Omitting those points, omitting the points that we have discussed is not a principle of learning. What and all we have discussed earlier, you should always keep in mind and check out for the rest of the things. Seven we have discussed already and only two are remaining. Like that if you remember, then you will finally remember all the nine things. If the question asked in Vaiva is what are the Lekhana Sadhya Vyadis in the Vartma Gata Roga, how would be how you would be answering? Okay, one, two, three, four. The highlighter is what you have marked. And also, four you have already told, five you should remember. So we'll search the points where you had marked it in LO or something, which highlighter you are using. So that you would remember very quickly if you are preparing like that from the start. Okay. So Lekhana Sadha Vyadhi in the last five what we have discussed is Bahalam Vartma, Vartmava Bandhaka and Klishta Vartma. All the five what we have discussed today is also Sadhya Vyadhi. 
So in that Sadhya Vyadi, the first one is Chedana, Anjana Namika, Bhedana, Bahalam Vartma, Vartma Vabandhaka, Krishna Vartma, Lekhana Sadhya Vyadi. Then coming to the correlation of it, Shushkarsha is a polyp, wart or tumor. Anjana Namika, one important roga, please mark it in double quotes. Okay, Stai. This is one important Vyadi because equal importance is given in modern also and it is quite common also. And next, Bahalam Vartma, multiple chalazion. Vartma Vabandhaka, angioneuritic edema. Klishta Vartma is allergic conjunctivitis, angioneurotic edema. See, one secret, I, th I hope, uh, like I can put it as secret only, saying how you wanted to prepare for Shalakya examination. Uh, leave all others, Shalya, Kaya, Chikitsa, Panchakarma, there is a different mode to it. But how do you prepare Shalakya Tantra? That which are very common or that which are very unique. In 21 Vartmagata Roga, what do you think that can be given as, for, as in for your theory examination? I said there are three Chedana, three Bhedana, nine Lekhana Vyadis are there. And how much marks do you have? Like what is the marks distribution in your exam? It should either be 10 marker, 5 marker or a 3 marker question. So keeping this in mind, 21 Rogas of Parthmagatha, how do you expect the questions? Like do you have any idea, any guess as to how the exam in examination questions are asked? According to uh, like in the Vartnagata Roga. The most common questions that are asked are about those three Bhedana Roga or those three Chetana Roga. See, this is how you remember. And also, there are two Asadhya Vyadi, right? Sorry, three Asadhya Vyadis, right? That is commonly asked. What are the three Asadhya Vartmagata Roga? That can be covered in 5 marker, right? Or it can be covered in a 3 marker question. Because you will be writing the Ayurveda part as well as the modern part. So, 3 Bhedana Sadhya Vyadis are potential 5 marker questions. And also 3 Chedana Sadhya Vyadis. Because they are unique. They are not very common. They are very unique. And they cannot be asking, write 9 Lekhana Gata Vyadhi in Vartmagata. No, it is not possible. You have to just think in that way, the common sense way. Not reading everything before the exam. Of course, you have to study everything as in detail for a subject. But while you are preparing for exams, as in for PG or for your theory exams, just give it a thought what possibly they can ask in exams. Okay. Then, the next five. What are the next five rogas? Kardama Vartma. Shyava Vartma, Praklinna Vartma, Apariklinna Vartma and Vartma Vatahata or Vatahata Vartma. I'll repeat it once again. Kardama Vartma, Shyava Vartma, Praklinna Vartma, Apariklinna Vartma and also Vartma uh, Vartma Hata Vata or Vatahata Vartma. So what it is? Kardama Vartma is actually Sanni Pathaja. Shyava Vartma is also Sanni Pathaja. Praklinna, Klinnata, where is Klinnata? Like the Pichila, it is Kaphaja. Apariklinna is Sanni Pathaja. Vata Vartma Hata, of course it is Vataja. Which Gata Vyadis don't have Vataja Roga? Sandhigata. Then? Yes, Kasturi? Shuklagata, Krishnagata. Yes. Sandhigata, Shuklagata, Krishnagata don't have Vataja Vyadhi. What Vartmagata doesn't have? Pitta. Yes, exactly. Okay, so coming to the doshas, we understood. 
కర్దమా శ్యావాయ సన్నిపాతజ ప్రక్లినాయ స్కభజ అపరిక్లినాయ సన్నిపాతజ అండ్ వర్తమాహత వాత ఇస్ వాతజ కైండ్ దెన్ కమింగ్ టు ది స్థాన ఇట్ ఇస్ ఆల్ వర్తమగత రోగ దెన్ ద థర్డ్ పాయింట్ ఇస్ సాధ్య సాధ్యత ఇన్ వాట్ ఎవర్ వీ హ్యావ్ డిస్కస్డ్ అంటిల్ నౌ కర్తమ అండ్ శ్యావ వర్తమ బోత్ ఆర్ సన్నిపాతజ అండ్ ఇట్ ఇస్ లేఖన సాధ్య వైల్ ప్రక్లిన్న అపరిక్లిన్న కీప్ దిస్ దీస్ టూ ఇన్ ఆల్సో ఇన్ అ కోటెడ్ ఫామ్ సేయింగ్ దీస్ టూ ఆర్ అశస్త్రకృత వ్యాధి అశస్త్రకృత వ్యాధి ప్రక్లిన్న అపరిక్లిన్న వాతవర్తమాహత ఇస్ అన్ అసాధ్య వ్యాధి గట్ ఇట్ అండ్ కోరిలేషన్స్ ఆఫ్ ఇట్ ఫైనలీ కర్దమ వర్తమ ఇస్ బ్లెఫెరైటిస్ శ్యావ వర్తమ ఇస్ అ బ్లెఫెరైటిస్ ఆఫ్ అన్ అల్సరేటివ్ టైప్ ఆర్ ఇట్ క్యాన్ బి అడ్ హెమటోమా ప్రక్లిన్న వర్తమ ఇస్ బ్లెఫెరైటిస్ ఆర్ ఇట్ క్యాన్ బి కన్జంక్టివైటిస్ ఎనీ ఫార్మ్ ఆఫ్ ఇన్ఫెక్షన్ అపరిక్లిన్న ఇస్ ఆల్సో టైప్ ఆఫ్ ఇన్ఫెక్షన్ ఆర్ ఇన్ఫ్లమేషన్ బేసికలీ సమ్ మ్యూకోస్ డిస్చార్జెస్ విల్ ఆల్సో బి దేర్ సో ఇట్ ఇస్ యాంకైలో బ్లెఫెరిన్ ఆర్ కన్జంక్టివైటిస్ వేర్ దర్ ఇస్ మ్యూకోప్యూరలిన్ డిస్చార్జ్ and vata vartmahata or vartma vatahata is lack of thalamus or ophthalmoplegia or seventh cranial nerve paralysis okay we will revise what are all 15 vartmagata roga we have learned until now uh, i hope shweta bhavi can read these five, 15 names of it vartmagata roga read it now eshweta not there in the class C.V. Krishna? Anna. Ah, yes. Uttrangini, Kumbhika, Potaki, Vartma Sharkara, Arsho Vartma, Shushka Arsha, Anjana Anamika, Baholam Vartha, Vartma, Vartama, Vartma Ava Bandaka, Krishta, Kar, Krishta Vartma, Kardamaka Vartma, Shava Vartma, ప్రక్లిన్న వర్తమ అపరి అపరిక్లిన్న వర్తమ వాతాహత వర్తమ అర్బుర్ద సోను క్యాన్ యూ టెల్ మీ ది దోషస్ ఆఫ్ దీస్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ see the uh, sh- file that i am sharing and you can read it ma muchangini sannipataja kumbhika sannipataja potaki kafaja vartma sharkara sannipataja arsha vartma sannipataja pataja shukra కఫచ ప్రక్లిన్న రిమెంబర్ ఇట్ ఇస్ క్లిన్నత పిచ్చిలత విచ్ ఇస్ రిలేటెడ్ టు కఫజ ఓకే అపరిక్లిన్న క్లిన్న వర్తమ సన్నిపాత ఓకే వాతాహత వర్తమ ఇట్ ఇస్ వాతజ వాతజ వాత వర్తమాహత రైట్ ఓర్ వర్తమాహత వాత దేర్ ఓన్లీ వాత ఇస్ దేర్ సో వాతజ డిసార్డర్ ఓకే పర్షిణి
tell me which are the lekhana sadhya vyadhi in which we have discussed until now in the vartmagata roga utsangini kumbika pothaki and vatma sharkara are lekhana sadhya vyadhi and that means like the first pada of the shloka is totally lekhana sadhya next next uh, bahalam vartma vartma bandhaka क्लिष्ट वर्तमा कर्दम वर्तमा और श्याव वर्तमा लेखन साध्य व्याधि ओके डिड वी कंप्लीट ऑल द नाइन व्याधिस यस मैम ओके सो हाउ डू यू रिमेंबर दिस लेखन साध्य व्याधि इफ यू नो द श्लोका देन इट इज वेरी इजी व्हाट इज द श्लोका उत्संगिन्यत कुंभिका पोथकी वर्तमा शर्कर एज अ सिंगल लाइन ऑल दीस आर लेखन साध्य व्हाट इज द नेक्स्ट लाइन तथार्शो वर्तमा शुष्काश तथा इवांजन नामिका नो लेखन साध्य व्याधि इन सेकंड लाइन थर्ड लाइन बहलम वर्तम यच्छा व्याधि वर्तमा व बंधक बोथ थर्ड लाइन बोथ आर लेखन साध्य व्याधि नेक्स्ट क्लिष्ट कर्धम वर्तमा क्यों श्याव वर्तम तथा वचा द फोर्थ लाइन इज लेखन साध्य व्याधि गेटिंग इट सो फर्स्ट लाइन थर्ड लाइन एंड फोर्थ लाइन इन द श्लोक ऑल आर लेखन साध्य व्याधि इन द मिडिल सेकंड लाइन इज ओनली डिफरेंट व्हाट आर दे अर्शो वर्तम शुष्काश बोथ विच कैरी द नेम अर्श एंड अर्श अर्शो वर्तम शुष्क अर्श वॉट यू डू इन अर्श इफ इट इज हेमरॉइडल मास वॉट यू डू यू जस्ट एक्सइज दट ऑफ यू जस्ट कट इट ऑफ सो इट इज छेदन साध्य कॉमन सेन्स नेक्स्ट अंजन नामिका इज ओनली द यूनिक वन इट इज भेदन साध्य व्याधि सो वॉट यू गेट जनरली इन एक्साम इज दोज यूनिक थिंग्स सो अंजन नामिका अंजन नामिका इज अ भेदन साध्य व्याधि सो इफ यू हैव लर्न द श्लोका then it will be very easy for you to remember which sadhya vyadhi it is first line third line fourth line of the shloka all are lekhana sadhya vyadhi so you need not rack your brains when that exact word is asked in your exams right you can directly put it as lekhana sadhya vyadhi and if you don't even remember what is the dravyas that have been used in the lekhana sadhya you can just remember those kshara's application that you can write or the instruments if you know what is used for lekana those instruments you can write like that you have to make things easier okay so today we will stop we will continue in the next class uh, i think i i'll i'll be sending you the recordings i don't think so i can be doing the class again for the rest of it i think the other uh, vartmagata roga and uh, drushti and uh, sarvagata roga i'll be sending you the recordings okay so just go through all the recordings and we will have one revision class on sunday until that tomorrow will not be having any class on sunday we'll have one class like evening time so we will uh, just revise all the things that we have discussed in netra roga classification on monday netra roga classification test will be sent i hope you all can answer on monday so sun until sunday like you will be having one and half a day almost so revise all the things that have been given all the materials that have been provided so just uh, don't get confused along uh, for the correlations we will keep it aside for some time just go with all the numbers classifications each classification given under the gata rogas what are the doshas which is sadhya asadhya and what kind of sadhya it is these things are very important students so until you are practicing as a doctor these are very important things and particularly to reach a larger goal to achieve a larger goal smaller goals have to be achieved first so what is your smaller goals now remembering for the test on monday then remembering it for your uh, fourth year examination then remembering it for your pg entrance examination and then put it into practice of course so shorter goals have to be achieved first in order to make a big picture so try to achieve that shorter goals so in order to remember for your exams as well these are very important basic questions so go through it revise it well okay रागादि रोगान सततानुशक्ता नशेशकाय प्रसृता नशेशान औत्सुक्यमोहारतिदानमोस्तु
uh, revise it well and prepare well for the exams.